P.G. Woodhouse called his television portrayal the definitive version of Bertie Wooster. No one could play upper-class twits quite like Ian Carmichael, but he was very far from a fool. In reality, he was a master of comic timing, the star of half a dozen 1950s film comedies like Lucky Jim. Very England. Loots and flutes and chase me round the maypole. Phony baloney. It never was merry. It was murder, poverty, starvation, ignorance, tyranny, bloodshed, the lot. He often complained he was typecast and claimed he longed to be serious, but he played the silly ass too well. A deviled kidneys, my lord? Did I or did I not make it perfectly clear that we were staying in Paris for at least two... Lord Peter Whimsey was a kind of Bertie clear, Wooster with brains. There were five television series in the 1970s devoted to the elegant sleuth and his faithful retainer, Bunter. Captain Cathcart has been found shot dead. Good God! This was a very English character that Ian Carmichael himself rather admired. Did I say something of myself in Lord Peter? I suppose I did. I wanted to be Lord Peter. I just felt it was me. Peter Whimsey was a man that I personally would like to have been. <laughs> In the 1990s, he made a television comeback in Strathblair, playing a Scottish lad with a resolutely upper-class English accent. But I want you to make me a promise in return. So, if at the end of six months you have not, in my sole opinion, run Corrie Begg in a satisfactory manner, I shall expect you to relinquish the lease. The real Ian Carmichael was modest and talented, a man who combined aristocratic charm with an unbeatable skill at playing flanneled fools.